It is Super Tuesday. We're right here in the Alamo City at Ma Harper's Creole Kitchen for Super Tuesday. It is Election Day. People are out at the polls all day today. Right here with State Representative candidate Mr. Mario Salas. Thank How you, you feeling? Sir? Well, real good, real good. It looks like from early vote totals we will be in a runoff. So um, we're looking real good, and we're looking forward to uh, proceeding ahead in that runoff. So how you feeling? It looks like the numbers are registering where, where, where you just indicated this could be a runoff between you and Barbara Hawkins. Yeah, that's correct. Tell us a little bit about the agenda and, and how you feel about these numbers with early voting. Well, I think they're good. I mean, they're not where they should be. In my opinion, very low turnout. But that often happens in primary elections. This is not a general election. A lot of people don't vote in primaries, but they wait for the general election to come around. But when you vote in the primary, that's who's going to represent you in the general election. So, unfortunately, people, the turnout was not what it should have been. Um, and, of course, we're never happy with the turnout. I mean, you got a million, almost a million people registered to vote, and you get, what, 53,000 voting uh, in some cases. That, that's not good. Um, but uh, uh, we, it looks like we're headed to a runoff and looking forward to it. There's still the issues that need to be addressed. Uh, and I think I have a, a stronger record of addressing issues than my opponent, who has done very little in terms of taking a very forward position and, and a very important, taking very important positions on the things that need to be addressed in a very firm manner. Uh, I was a two-time city council member. I was a vice president of Judson School Board. I'm a retired professor of political science. So as far as qualifications go, I believe I have many more qualifications than, my, than Bar Ms. Hawkins. Okay. So tell us a little bit quickly and briefly, I'm not going to hold you up, take too much time, but tell us a little bit, if this is a runoff, what's your agenda and far as your campaign and the people that you have with you, with your campaign helping you out, what's the agenda, Mr. Solomon? Well, we got, we, as far as the state of Texas is concerned, we're still not giving teachers the respect they deserve. Teachers are not being paid fairly what, for the work that they do. With their having, they're being forced still to, take, uh, to give students standardized testing. That should be, be eliminated. We still have situations where our seniors are being abused in nursing homes. There are not enough inspectors to handle that. We still have people being abused in foster care homes. That needs to end. There are many issues that need to be addressed, and, and, that, and that's why I'm going to be moving forward with the education issue, which is very important. Uh, Ms. Hawkins um, is involved in charter schools, and that's okay. But the problem there is um, she has not been delivering the type of instruction that's needed. She's been warned several times by the Texas Education Agency for lack of teaching. And so that's something that the community needs to know because we're talking about helping students and that hasn't, ha hasn't happened with Ms. Hawkins. Okay. Well, thank you, Mario Salas. This is a sit-down conversation right here at Ma Harper's Creole Kitchen right here in the Alamo City. And I'm right here with uh, Representative, uh, State-Elect, trying to get this thing pulled out for a runoff, Mr. Mario Salas. Stay logged on for more right here with Black Video News. Thanks for logging back on right here to Black Video News. It's Super Tuesday. We had to shift gears. It's a little more energy over here. We're at Barbara Gervin's Hawkins headquarters. She's looking good. How you doing, Barbara? I'm okay. I'm okay, Keith. Tell us how you're feeling about this early vote and the numbers. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good about it. I mean, I've got a team that has worked diligently to make this happen. You know, it doesn't happen with the candidate. It happens with the support team that they have behind them. And I've got a great one. I want to ask you, the numbers are looking good. We know you're up right now if it's a runoff. But I wanted to ask you, what's your agenda and what's going to separate you from the other candidate if it is a runoff? I think the biggest thing to separate me is that I have a proven track record of getting things done. And so what I want to do is bring uh, Austin closer to District 120. I want to make some things happen where the people can feel the impact of the great city that we're in. You know, we see a lot of bricks and mortar projects. We see a lot of people from out of town coming in here, becoming millionaires. I want to see some San Antonians, particularly District 2 residents, become millionaires. All right, well, that's a good agenda. Also, give me one more thing that you would like to accomplish if the numbers roll in your favor. Well, what I like to do is, I like to work on several things, Keith, so it's not just one thing. I understand. But what I want to do is really improve the image of District 120 and really work towards seeing how we can become as equally productive as other parts of the city. Okay, well, thanks, Barbara. Thank Numbers you. are looking good. We're right here live at Barbara Gervin's Hawkins headquarters right here in the Alamo City off WW White Road. 
Stay logged on for more. The numbers are looking good for bombers. Stay logged on. Thanks for logging back on to Black Video News. We've been making our rounds. It's Super Tuesday right here in the Alamo City for this race in District 120 for state representative. We had to make it over here to Mr. Byron Miller. How are you doing, Mr. Miller? Doing great. Tell us how you're feeling about this race. The numbers are close. Uh, you're running neck to neck with Mr. Salas. Tell us how you're feeling about this. I'm feeling very optimistic. First of all, I want to thank all of my supporters and everyone that's made this night where it is tonight. And it's a good night. Uh, we're very optimistic, we're very hopeful, and we believe that we will overcome this small, you know, deficit in votes to be successful. Okay, tell us if this thing is a runoff, you're in it. Tell us what your agenda is and what separates you from the other candidate. Well, it depends on who that other candidate is going to be. Right now, the front runner is going to, it appears to be Barbara Gervin Hawkins. And, you know, what separates me is the fact that I have, um, had service in this community for many, many years. Uh, and not just service that I was paid for, but service that I put above myself and service that I believe is important. I believe I'm the person that is able to bring people together because I was able to do that with the Edwards Aquifer Authority and it's just as a piece for Precinct 4. Okay. We're going to be paying close attention to this race. I know you are, but I want to thank you. Any quick note that you want to add before we wrap up right here at your headquarters, Mr. Miller? Well, all I want to say is that it's been an exciting evening and an exciting race. And win or lose, one of the things that's important is, is that I always put service above self because that's what's important. Um, you can be in an elective office or you don't, but you always serve your community, and that's what I will continue to do. All right, well, thank you, Mr. Miller. Good luck to you. We're wrapping this thing up. It's Super Tuesday right here in the Alamo City. We've made our stop. We're going to see how this election turns out. Stay logged on to check this out, or you can check our local news out right here in the Alamo City. This is Keith Scott with a special report right here at Byron Miller's headquarters, signing off Black Video News. <music>